How you guys doing? My name is Frank, and in this my 3 video, I just want to quickly show you guys how to add a custom unit insignia to your mission and apply it to a unit. And so this is already a test mission that I have created to show off that the what the unit insignia looks like on the unit. So in this case, it's on the shoulder patch of this guy. And I also want to show you guys now that, now that you've seen it, I have a virtual arsenal already in the mission as well. And if I access the virtual arsenal after the uh, insignia is applied, you can see that the insignia is erased. Cool. Insignia. You go into the insignia section of the virtual arsenal and you'll see that it's not even there. So, I don't know why this is. It says that you could also have a config.cpp and apply some information there, but I have no idea what a config.cpp is. As far as I know, a config.cpp is a file for add-ons, and this is not going to be about how to create add-ons. This is about, you know, editing missions and shit, so... You could add it through a script, basically, or through a description.extension uh, command, and through a init command as well, on top of that. So basically, to go over this, let's get started. I already have a player unit placed, and this init command here, you do not need to name it this. I will explain all this in a second, once I get to it. And that's all you need, just for the player unit will do this for. Next, go into the link that is in the video's description. And this will tell you what the insignia is and all about it, you know, how to apply it and other things you can do with it. As well as, uh, you could also apply default insignias to AI or other players automatically without uh, having them to go through the fucking virtual arsenal to apply it. So that's cool. And uh, so anyway, but what we're going to focus on is this. Well, actually, before we get to that, is uh, when, you cr when you're creating your unit insignia, make sure there's a file or an image file that is 128 by 128 pixels. Basically, that's it doesn't have to be that, actually. It says should ideally be. So that basically means it's recommended to be 128 by 128, but it could be higher or smaller. If it's a higher resolution than that, it's probably going to look better, but hit performance a little bit more. So just keep that in mind. So anyway, this is what we're going to do. look at right now. The uh, This is going to be put into our description.extension file. As you can see, it says config.cpp, but I'm almost positive that has nothing to do with the mission. That's for add-ons, I think. So anyway, let's just get to the uh, mission. So to get to your mission folder, go to my documents, on my three other profiles, your on my three profile, go into your missions folder, and then go find your mission. And now in your test.stratus mission, in this case, I already have the insignia for my unit in this missions folder as well as a description.extension uh, file as well and of course the mission.sqm file well, we're not going to touch that so let's go into the description.extension file and you can see that the name of this insignia is CAG insignia.paa it doesn't have to be named that it could be named whatever the fuck you want it to be that but it has to be a .paa file now here in the description.ext uh, this is all I have um, what you need to know about this is the class I or the ID of it. So in this case, it's at CAG ID because the name of my group is I'm a Tactical Combat Applications Group. So at CAG, and then display name and author don't matter because it doesn't doesn't work in Virtual Arsenal. So, but I added you know names for them anyway. So author and, and display name don't matter. But this is what we're gonna look at: the CAG in, CAG insignia dot PAA. The texture equals basically part. So this is just the file name of the image, that's all, of inside of the mission folder. If you wanted to put this in a specific folder, such as images, all you would have to do is put the CAG insignia.paa in a images folder, and then do this. Images backslash CAG insignia.paa. But we're not going to do that right now. All right. And that's pretty much it. That's all you really... Well, actually, there's one more thing. One more thing is uh, now applying it to the unit. And there's this command right here. But... And also, like I said, you could apply uh, default insignias that are already in the game to units as well. But in this case, if it's a custom insignia, which is what this video is about, you would do this. And remember, I'm actually going to double check to show you guys this. Is this... I, I named the, or changed the name of the ID of this insignia to atcag. ID instead of like 111th or whatever the fuck the default one was. So at CAG ID is what I use. And so when it's being called on this unit, make sure that you know the name of your unit insignia or the ID of your 
insignia is put right here. So at keg ID in my case is right here. And then that command. I'll put the command as well in, as in, in the description of the video. And that's it. It works very really well and it just, a pain, it just doesn't work with the fucking virtual arsenal. That really pisses me off. I, I don't know why they fucked that up, but whatever. It's uh, Bohemian Interactive and they fuck everything up sometimes, so whatever. Anyway, hopefully this video is helpful. I know it kind of sucks that it doesn't work with the virtual arsenal, but that's the best I can do without having to go into mod making and shit as far as I know. So anyway, hopefully this video is useful. If it was, great. If it wasn't, then oh well. See you later.